I enjoyed it. It was very entertaining. I don't entirely agree with it. Um, I think there is a prob problem in public service broadcasting, uh, and it isn't good enough just to say that le let the regulators withdraw, let the politicians withdraw, and television will solve the problem itself. ITV, in many ways, exemplifies the problem. They're no longer providing UK production of children's programming. They're no longer providing any real current affairs programming. They're trying to get out of their commitments to do regional programming, and I don't think that I want to see a situation where it is only the BBC left providing those things. And that is a concern which regulators have to address. Well, it was entertaining. Um, I mean, quite general. Entertaining. It made a lot of sense. Uh, a lot of things I could agree with. A lot of things that obviously I think were being said from a um, ITV point of view, I think. But definitely the populism thing, I agree with it totally. But there's, uh, there are issues about, when he talks about box ticking, there are issues which I think ultimately, you know, um, it's very hard to make things appeal to as wide an audience that he talks about. I mean, it's interesting, what would you do with arts and religion and children's programs and all these things, which I think he just glossed over. Uh, I mean, it was obviously talking from a point of view that he felt comfortable with. And I don't think he had enough answers for the questions that actually I want to find answers for, which is how do we make our programs, which aren't as sexy as some of the ones he talks about, reach eight or nine million people. That's not possible to do. So actually, there has to be some kind of safeguard that's put in to make sure that those exist. What I really liked about the speech was that he was willing to take on the regulator. Uh, now, I have nothing against Ofcom. Uh, I think Ofcom plays an important role. But I think one of the problems we have in television is sometimes um, we're slightly in awe of Ofcom, slightly in awe of the regulator. No one, uh, everyone walks around and talks in hushed tones. No, nobody wants to offend uh, the people who regulate. And I think for someone who was willing to come out and, and say, I, I thought some actually rather pointed and trenchant things about uh, the assumptions that Ofcom makes about public service broadcasting, whether or not you agree with Peter, that's an important t debate to have. I think I take away just a sense that, you know, actually remind ourselves that, that viewers haven't fundamentally changed just because of a year of shock and scandals. You know, they still want the same things out of their television that they've always wanted. And to remember that, you know, when you're trying to do a broadcast, that you know you might have in your head the complications of all that we've seen in television over the last couple of years but they don't they just want to sit down and watch some good television and just kind of remember to give them that yes in, in, engaging entertaining agree with a lot of what he said but I actually think also alongside that we have to be honest and say some of the regulatory things that he actually basically was quite dismissive of actually are very necessary I do think it's important that we hang on to the idea that television is a broad entertainment medium. Uh, I mean, that isn't to say that it can't be serious as well as being enjoyable, but I think that it's very important that we don't run up the white flag in terms of mass audiences for television. I mean, I think, I think it was a, a, a valiant uh, effort to fight back against um, some of the criticisms that have been deployed by the regulators. And he's right. I mean, the last thing I want to see is over-regulation of British television. But what I think he doesn't uh, sufficiently recognise is that there is a real problem. Uh, and it's a problem that is increasing. And I don't think that it is one we can ignore.